Whoa, was them. I know by now a lot of y'all heard that Dwayne Casey was let go from the Toronto Raptors, and I'm going to just get straight to the point. If they don't get a black coach, then it's going to look like a tactic that they pull so many times. I like to call the shit warming the jackpot, you dig? They always do this. Remember Mark Jackson? He warmed up the jackpot, and then who they got in there? Steve Kerr. Put one of their people in who they wanted to have a championship under. You know, they always love Steve Kerr so he could be a darling of the league while battling, you know, his trials and tribulations. But this happens over and over when unsuspectingly a black coach over exceed expectations, you dig? This ain't the only time that this happened when Mark Jackson was just fired and they said, oh, oh, it was because of his ego and shit like that. Like he was just walking around being bossy, even if he was. How many coaches have an ego? Every coach have to have an ego on some level. So what the fuck does that mean? And how do that get out of the clubhouse? Y'all just had to put it out there. Oh, just man, throw it out there that he, his ego, he... This, he he turned into an uppity nigga. That's basically what they saying. Turned into an uppity nigga. Started acting like his shit didn't stink. Acting like he could talk to white people anyway. You know, that's probably what they really saying right quick. But here go another time this shit happened. Remember when Mike Singletary was with the Niners? He built that team. He built that 49er team. He got Vernon Davis and all of them over there before John Harbaugh. I mean, what, what, Jeff Harbaugh? Jim Harbaugh, my bad. Before Jim Harbaugh came in that motherfucker. Or Jeff, whatever the fuck his name is. Y'all know, Harbaugh. Before he came in and took him to the Super Bowl and everybody tried to act like he the one of the best coaches ever, you know? They just stick one of their darlings in that they want some big shit under their record, you know? To make them look like they somebody, like they did a big thing. And it happened with Tony Dungy, too. You did? When he left, they let um John Gruden come in for the Buccaneers, and he wins the Super Bowl against fucking, matter of fact, who did, he, who did they play in the uh, Super Bowl? Goddamn, the Raiders, matter of fact. And they beat the Raiders, beat the shit out of them, but he beat them with this man team, and I guess they pleased him by throwing him to the coach where he got to you know, coach with Peyton Manning or whatever. Just because he one of their little darlings, too. They love uh, Tony Dungy smiling at him. You know he ain't standing up for not a goddamn thing. Period. He ain't speaking up for nobody at all. Look at the smile on his face. But shit, I just wanted to speak on that warming the jackpot up type shit. Because if they don't get no black coach, that's what the fuck it's going to look like to me. So, uh... Once again, man, y'all holler at me.